I want to speak to you about one of my favorite topics, big commerce. And in today's conversation, I'm going to review one of the best e-commerce platforms available right now. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing splendid. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to review big commerce and I want to take an in-depth look at some of uh, the best features, the best parameters we have with uh, one of the best e-commerce solutions currently available. So we have about 20 elements in today's review, so we are going to jump right into it. Number one. Let me give you an overview here. Big Commerce is basically a paid for hosted e-commerce solution that allows business owners to set up an online store and sell their products on the web. Hosted means what? It means that Big Commerce runs on its own servers. So the cool thing here is that you don't have to buy web hosting or install anything on your computer to use it. As long as you have access to a web browser and the internet, which I believe everybody does these days, right? <laughs> you can build and manage your store from anywhere. It's a software as a service and SAS product, which means that you don't own the software but pay a monthly fee to use it. And the product comes from, uh, they, they come with a range of customizable templates to help you design your online store so you can use it to either sell physical or digital goods. And there are also some tools provided to help you market your store. So compared to uh, Squarespace, for example, Big commerce is mainly aimed at people who don't have uh, sophisticated web de web design skills. But the cool thing here is that the service is also great for more tech savvy users and developers who can tweak the HTML and CSS of their online stores as well. And uh, what about prices? Big commerce offers four monthly pricing plans, which are shown on the screen right now. So you have Big Commerce Standard, twenty nine ninety five per month. You have a Big Commerce Plus, $79.95 per month, Big Commerce Pro, $299.95 per month, and you have Big Commerce Enterprise. Here, the pricing varies depending on your business requirements. A 10% discount is available for the Plus and Pro plans if you pay annually for them, and a 15-day free trial is also available. And the standard Plus and Pro plans are aimed at individuals and small businesses and are part of the company's essentials range of products. And the enterprise plan is geared more towards larger businesses and corporations and users with very high bandwidth and advanced selling requirements. Let's talk about the core selling features here, folks. And as you'll see below, and I'll show you this on the screen right now, the one thing we have seen in our analysis here is that um, the exact features you get with big commerce depend on the plan you opt for. But important features that are common to all plans include a choice of 12 free templates, the ability to sell an unlimited number of physical or digital goods, and categories of your choosing and using shipping rates of your choosing. This is very important to to see because a lot of folks think that with big commerce, you have to sell physical goods only. No, they actually, uh, they actually welcome both physical and digital goods you also have a drag and drop page builder very cool you have integration with paypal and a wide range of payment gateways without additional transaction fees being involved you have unlimited staff accounts full content management cms functionality search engine optimization features seo automated image optimization using uh, akamai image manager you have integration with several email marketing services here i'm speaking about Constant Contact, Eye Content, Mailchimp, and Interspire. They were thinking about adding Sending Blue also to the to the uh, to the list. I don't know if they've done it, if they've done it already, but yeah, you have um, discount coupons and gift vouchers, pretty cool, and um, you have product review functionality and the ability to tweak CSS and HTML as desired. As I said, if you are if you have a knack for uh, designing websites. In the, on the advanced uh, spectrum of things, on the advanced uh, side of things, you will love the ability to tweak CSS and HTML as desired with um, big covers. And you also have professional reporting. 
So this comprehensive constellation of features is fairly unique when it comes to online store builders. And is this a lot of similar online store builders require you to upgrade to more expensive plans and is, or install paid for apps to access several of the above features that I just mentioned. And this means that BigCommerce arguably offers considerably more bang for the buck than many com competing products at its entry level monthly plan what I just mentioned, the $29.95 per month. That said, you can unlock additional additional functionality in BigCommerce by paying more, okay? So let's just drill down into the key differences between each BigCommerce uh, plans. So I will talk about that in, in the next uh, section, but what I want to say here is that you also have the ability to upload files and also uh, have custom fields, okay? So merchants who need to capture text to complete an order, for example, jewelers who need personalized text for an engraving or printers who need their customers to supply a, a Jeep bag or a logo for a t-shirt, they will find BigCommerce's approach to custom field and file uploads really good. So now let's just compare the service plans as I promised you. So you have the BigCommerce Standard, you have the BigCommerce Plus, you have the BigCommerce Pro, and then you have the BigCommerce Enterprise. Let's go through each of them very, very quickly here. As you would expect, how much functionality you get from BigCommerce depends on how much you are prepared to pay for it. That makes sense, right? Each plane offers a distinct constellation of features, which I'm going to go through right now. So BigCommerce standards, this is the cheapest offering. It will cost you $29.95. This is roughly the same price as Shopify, Volusion, and Squarespace's entry-level e-commerce plan. That said, it is in general a much more comprehensive starter plan than any of this uh, the Evolution, the Shopify and Squarespace, because it provides a standalone online store, the ability to sell an unlimited number of products, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited file storage, unlimited staff accounts, gift cards, ratings and reviews functionality, multi-currency selling, point of sale functionality, because this lets you use a big commerce store to sell to selling a physical location. This is pretty cool, the POS. Uh, you have uh, professional reporting, automatic image optimization, and AMP, accelerated mobile pages functionality. This is pretty cool. And then you have the B Commerce Plus. So in addition to the core functionality that you find in the uh, standard plan, it has an abandoned cart saver tool, a persistent cart. This saves products to a customer's cart irrespective of device use. You have stored credit cards and customer grouping and segmentation. The annual sales limit for Big Commerce Plus is 180,000. Okay, it's very important to know. And then you have Big Commerce Pro. So the next plan up in the mix is Big Commerce Pro. With this plan, you you don't get a huge amount of extra functionality over Big Commerce Plus, but you do get a significantly increased sales limit. This permits up to $400,000 in online sales with an additional fee of $150 per month per uh, 200k in sales. And one extra feature which is worth drawing attention to on this plan is the Google Customer Reviews, a program that lets you collect and display feedback from users who have made a purchase from your online store. And if you have enabled the Google Customer Reviews, once a customer buys a product from your e-commerce store, they will be asked if they would like to review it on Google after it's been delivered. And then you have the big commerce enterprise. So this is the this is the the top of the top. Okay, with this you have uh, extra features, things like advanced product filtering, price list, unlimited API calls, and uh, BigCommerce API application program interface allows developers to share data between your store and other apps. We have Big BigCommerce consultant, account management, and priority support. So this is pretty cool. Let's talk about transaction fees and sales limits. So as I said, or I think I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I want to, uh, I want to elaborate a little bit here. A question which many potential big commerce users ask is, how much of a cut of my sales are they going to take? Well, the good news is very, it's very simple. There are no transaction fees on any big commerce plan. Let me repeat that. There are no transaction fees on any big commerce plans. This is in marked contrast to its key competitors. However, you do have to pay credit card transaction fees to the company you select to, pro to process payments. This will depend on the payment gateway you use and uh, so the bad news, as mentioned uh, earlier, is that Big Commerce places a limit on your annual online sales. So these limits are as follows: so Big Commerce Standard, fifty thousand dollars; Big Commerce Plus, one eighty k; 
BigCommerce Pro 400K and BigCommerce uh, Enterprise, it's negotiable. If you are on the BigCommerce Pro plan, you can increase the sales limit by paying $150, $150 per month for every additional $200,000 in sales. Okay. And um, so the question is, which BigCommerce plan represent the sweet spot? It really depends on you. But based on our research, the best value BigCommerce plan is the $79 per month, the plus plan, because by paying $50 per month more than the entry level plan, you can access to features that in most contests will help you to sell considerably more products An abandoned card saver. This is essential, right? You have persistent card and credit card story. So long as you have a reasonably good flow of traffic to your site, these features will easily pay for themselves. And although it's really, really something you have to think about. And although we prefer not to see sales limit on any of the big commerce plans, the sales limit for this one is reasonably high, $180,000. So that's pretty cool. And what about the payment gateways here? With big commerce, there are two ways. There are two ways to uh, accept credit card payments in big commerce. The simplest things to do is to use the default payment option for BigCommerce. This is the PayPal powered by Braintree. Doing so makes for a very easy payment gateway setup and gives you preferential PayPal rates for credit card transactions, which decrease as you go up BigCommerce's price ladder. So BigCommerce standard 2.9% plus 30 cents, BigCommerce plus 2.5% plus 30 cents, BigCommerce Pro 2.2% plus 30 cents, and B commerce enterprise 2.2% plus 30 cents or lower, actually, depending on uh, what you negotiate. And this fees can be lower in other countries. For example, in the UK, you're looking at rates of 1.55% to 1.85%, depending on the plan. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still reviewing here big commerce. I'm giving you an in-depth review here. And I want to talk to you now about uh, criteria number seven in this review, templates. Big commerce offers a reasonably good selection of responsive templates that you can use for the design of your online store. There are 12 free big commerce themes and around 150 paid themes. And each theme contains a number of different variants. So there is quite a lot to choose from. Okay, so this is really something you have to think about. The free themes on offer are contemporary professional in appearance, and they provide a good starting point for building an online store. However, a few of them are very similar to each other. This is a particular issue with the, the free uh, themes. Although there are technically 12 available, it feels more like there are actually five or six based on our calculation. Okay, this means that in the theme department, BigCommerce does not provide quite so much bang for buck as other solutions like uh, Shopify, which provides nine very distinct free themes with two to three variants of each, and Squarespace, uh, Squarespace which provides around 115 bundled themes. So to extend your options here, you can consider purchasing one of the paid for BigCommerce themes. They are fairly reasonably priced based on our view. They start out at $150 and they go up to $300. Occasionally, you can pick one at a discounted rate. All right, this is pretty cool. And um, what about the product variants and categories? A particularly strong feature of Big Commerce is the way it handles product variants. Unlike its rivals Shopify, for example, which only allows you to present users with three product options without resorting to a coding or paying for third-party apps, Big Commerce's product options and product rules allows you they allow you to create a very large number of product options up to 250. Think about it, folks. This is fantastic. Up to 250. And its product variant limit of 600 versions of your items is also very generous if you think about it. By comparison to other leading platforms, Shopify and Squarespace's equivalent limit is $100. Is 100. So if you are, let's say, if you are selling products that come with a lot of uh, different formats, guess what? Big commerce may be a particularly good option. All right, so I'm um, we're actually showing you right, we're showing you right now on the screen how those things look like in terms of the variants, and you also have the abandoned card saver feature. I mentioned that earlier, but I want to really dig a little deeper here. A big commerce uh, feature worth singling out for praise it's its abandoned card feature. It's arguably one of the best out there. The tool allows you to create up to three automated emails to site visitors who go part of the way through the sales process only to leave your store without buying anything. 
this has the potential to dramatically increase your revenue with little effort. Think about it, okay? Other than one-off time investment in setting up the automated messages being involved. So it's important to know, however, that the abandoned car saver functionality only comes with, with big commerces plus pro and enterprises plan. This makes obtaining this functionality a bit more expensive than with competing products. What about the uh, free trial? Now, you can try BigCommerce out for free, actually. the uh, Like many of its competitors, BigCommerce offers prospective users a free trial. This is a fully functional and uh, can be used for uh, 15 days. If during that period you don't complete your build, you can usually avail of an extension upon request. So I'm showing you right now the, the uh, different steps you have to go through. If you want to, on the screen right now, we have five snapshots and we're gonna show you each of them separately. So the first snapshot here, you can see the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So this kind of tells you the, the steps you have to go through to uh, start your free trial. And uh, selling in multiple currencies, is, it's usually possible also in big commerce. You usually get more sales if you sell it in, in the currency used by your site visitors, right? So if you're selling in multiple currencies, in multiple countries, it's a good idea to let your potential customers choose their own currency or better still, present products in your site visitors currency automatically. The really great news is that with BigCommerce free themes, you get a very good multi-currency solution out of the box. One that facilitates automatic currency conversion based on IP address. Fantastic. So, and the cool, even cooler here, if you are using a paid for template, you may need to use a third party app to facilitate multi-currency, but, but it can be done automatically and cheaply. But overall, one thing I want to say here is that based on our analysis, BigCommerce scores highly when it comes to multi-currency selling. Some competing solutions don't offer this functionality at all. For example, uh, Squarespace doesn't offer that. And others don't provide a fully automatic currency conversion unless you are on an expensive enterprise level plan. Shopify being a key example. Okay, so you have to think about a multi-channel approach to selling. This is something you have to think about. So as with other uh, leading um, e-commerce platform, big commerce does not restrict you to selling on your own online store. You can sell your products on several sales channels. This include uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Shopping, and Amazon. What about drop shipping with uh, big commerce? Something there's no problem. Fantastic here. Many prospective big commerce users will be interested to learn how it handles drop shipping. So just for those who are kind of new to the whole term here, drop shipping is a selling model where you basically don't keep what you are selling in stock. Instead, when you take an order, you send the details to a supplier and the supplier sends the good to your customers. So the advantage of this model is that you don't need much startup capital as there is no need to purchase any stock before you start selling. The drawback is that the low startup cost means that they there are a lot of people doing it and it ends up being quite a competitive business area. You can use BigCommerce to dropship, but in order to do so, you'll need to install a third-party app from BigCommerce's app store to facilitate it. And there are quite a few apps available to help you dropship with BigCommerce with uh, key ones including uh, you have AliExpress dropshipping, you have Printful, you have Modelist, you have Inventory Source, you have Spocket, we have Wholesale B2B, and these apps vary in price to use with free trials being available for some of them. We've actually covered, uh, we have actually compared and contrasted those free apps. So check out our videos about that. What about the big commerce sales features? Very important to understand. You have point of sale functionality. So a nice feature that we love on big commerce is that it doesn't just let you run an online store. It can facilitate selling at uh, point of sale. Thanks to some integrations with various POS providers, including Square, Clover, Hike, and iZettle, you can actually take payment and sync inventory when selling from a physical location, let's say a, a store, a market stall, or an event. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And you also have to think about tax rules and VAT MOS. So in, uh, in the US and Canada, one of the challenges of running an online store is that you can end up selling goods in jurisdictions with different tax rates. And uh, what the cool thing here is that through uh, big commerce, you can actually streamline the whole operation. It's really good. Same thing with uh, in, in the European Union. And in terms of uh, shipping options, you, big commerce allows you to set up a variety of shipping roles and methods. So you have free shipping rates, flat rates, 
price-based rates, weight-based rates, in-store pickup. Remember, you can sell, you can sell at the point of locate at, at a point of sale in a physical location, right? So that's pretty cool. And you also have another shipping option. You have real-time shipping rates from third-party carriers. So BigCommerce has an edge over other e-commerce platforms when it comes to third-party real-time shipping rates. You can access this functionality on any of its planes, whereas with leading competitors, you, you'll usually need to be on the most expensive ones. Again, this is based on our research. And you can actually also enhance your big commerce uh, stores functionality via the App Store. And uh, if the standard set of features provided by big commerce is not sufficient for your needs, the cool thing here is that you might want to consider purchasing some apps from its app store or to call it by its proper name the e-commerce apps marketplace and you can add uh, apps that deal with lots of different aspects of running an online business including um, accounting crm so this is customer relationship management marketing shipping and so on integrations are available from for many well-known other businesses the SAS apps, for example, you'll find apps for MailChimp, Zendex, Zero, and Salesforce. And this is often a cost associated. There is a cost associated with these apps. But on the plus side, if you really think about things uh, properly, those uh, integrations do open up a world of advanced features for your online stores. So at the end of the day, it's all about pros and cons. It's all about uh, risk and rewards. It's all about investments. So in total, there are around uh, 875 apps available for big commerce. This is not as many as Ravel Shopify provides, but a key app which is provided by big commerce, but not by Shopify is an official integration for MailChimp. I want to talk to you now about interface and user friendliness. This is an important element when we talk about when we think about e-commerce platforms in general. So with big commerce, their uh, interface is in general straightforward and user friendly. It is relatively similar in quality and appearance to Shopify's and Squarespace's. It is not entirely uh, dissimilar to a WordPress dashboard either. Anyone familiar with the contemporary content management system CMS should find it pretty easy to use. Okay, so this is not really that complicated. But while not yet as sophisticated as Squarespace's layout engine or the new WordPress Gutenberg editor, we've seen the e-commerce's uh, platform or interface involves a similar concept. So it's it, it's it's there. The quality is there. And uh, additionally, while the page builder is a potentially useful new development, there is scope to implement a lot better. In other words, there is scope for improvement here. And, we, and based on our test, we've seen that sometimes it was buggy while we were testing the, the page builder. But this is something that um, BigCommerce we is uh, thinking about improving and they're constantly working on it. And so, and also you can only access the page builder if you go to the theme customizer. So if you navigate to the web page, you want to edit on the back end. All you see is a rather old fashioned uh, wazi way. What you see what is what you get editor. So this is kind of confusing. What about SEO features? Well, this is something that you'll be really happy if you use BigCommerce because they are pretty, uh, they're pretty strong here. All the basics are covered nicely. It's easy to edit BigCommerce page titles, meta descriptions, and headers. You can also create and change product specific URLs without difficulty. And unlike some competing products, notably Shopify and Squarespace, you can actually create short URLs, your domain.com, slash products name instead of your domain.com slash products slash product name and this is generally considered better for an seo point of view and you also have what i said earlier the amp so using um, accelerated mobile pages in big commerce if you're somebody who likes to keep on top of trends in web development and you probably have noticed that uh, a lot of websites nowadays are using a amps uh, prominently and amp is a google bay is a google backed project that aims to deliver your site content extremely quickly to mobile users, mainly by creating streamlined pages that strip out certain types of codes, scripts, and features, for example, blog comments. All right, so, and you have that. You have that with BigCommerce. And also image optimization. So images that are care that are actually sized correctly for the device they're on and which load quickly can improve page speed significantly with faster loading pages being given preferential treatment by Google in search results. And uh, so 
this is something where uh, big commerce is also very strong they will help you actually optimize your images pretty quickly and one thing we have found also on big commerce is blogging if this is uh, something you love you will be very pleased with with uh, with big commerce because we all know that blogging is a key part of any successful inbound marketing campaign and when done well, it can improve a site's SEO and by extension, traffic to it and also uh, the conversion, right? So uh, big, big commerce is pretty cool in this, uh, in this aspect. They have a wonderful, uh, what I would call uh, integration, wonderful third-party integrations with uh, email marketing tools such as a GetResponse, Aweber or MailChimp. And uh, one thing we have seen, and this is something that we need to work, that big commerce needs to work on, email marketing this is a missing feature something that is provided by leading competitors but is currently missing from big commerce's feature set is email marketing so big commerce if you're listening please you want to plug that gap really right now you don't have it you need to have it because unlike wix shopify and squarespace big commerce does not yet provide you with a way to host a mailing list and send e-newsletters out of the box however Integrations are available for big commerce with most of the leading email marketing solutions, as, as I mentioned earlier, Aweber, uh, MailChimp, uh, GetResponse, and so on and so forth. And uh, but these apps tend to provide a lot more functionality than the built-in email marketing tools provided by online store builders. What about analytics reports? This is pretty cool. With big commerce, you have a wide constellation of uh, reports you, you can look into. You have customer reports, marketing reports reports search data reports finance reports abandoned cart reports assuming your plan supports this feature and so this is something you have to think about and so in short what i want to say here is that the big commerce analytics the the offering on uh, the analytics offering is pretty strong and the best thing about it is that the bulk of the reporting functionality comes as standard on all plans so it's not so you don't have to actually upgrade to a higher paid plan to actually benefit from it even on the 29.99 plan you have it that's fantastic and uh, this allows you to provide adequate privacy and cookie notices those are things that are part of the gdpr compliance right gdpr stands for what general data protection regulation that's the european uh, law when it comes to data privacy and with big commerce this is fantastic you are in full compliance you can provide adequate privacy and cookie notices you can process and store data securely you can get clear consent from people signing up to a mailing list and you need to uh, provide actually big commerce provides a means to opt in or revoke consent to use of uh, non-essential cookies on a website before visitors actually uh, are exposed to them so big commerce is pretty cool on that front what about customer support? Now we found that customer support is an area where big commerce still needs to work on. They really need to work on that. They have to. Uh, they have room for improvement. So when you start a big commerce free trial, you are provided with various support emails and resources aimed at helping you with the onboarding process. There is a fair amount of handholding available if you want it, which uh, should make it easier enough to get your store up and running. Now for those who have purchased a big commerce plan. The company provides 24-hour live agent customer support. It is not hugely clear on their website what the 24-7 bit covers. I mean, we tested it and it's, it's still not clear. And we don't know if it covers phone, chat, or email. And before you access, before you get access to relevant contact details, you are encouraged to try to resolve the issue by searching for an answer to your query via the big commerce help pages first. So this is not really uh, interesting, especially if you just want to have a quick answer. They want you to go through uh, all their FAQ, and it's pretty annoying. I mean, even I personally, when I when I have to go through this, it's just not uh, always interesting because this will annoy this this will annoy some users a bit, right? Because uh, even though even though don't get me wrong, even though you are presented with fairly easy to digest contact details and. Uh, data data points you still sometimes want to talk to people you can also skip this step button to bypass this and uh, you can go to the you can go to the phone numbers and the live chat options of course phone numbers when we tried this we never got anybody on the phone for the live chat options people didn't come quickly so it was it's it was a little bit complicated in terms of customer service but they're still working on it i guess 
yeah, with uh, maybe you, when we called them and we called them three times on three different dates maybe uh, they were busy and yeah so just want to close that chapter here and uh, in terms of customer support you also have uh, big commerce on iOS and Android apps so although uh, after several years without a mobile app available the good news is that big commerce has uh, reintroduced one so uh, available for both Android and iOS it allows you to manage your store on the go so it allows you to access all your stores within one login you can check your stores revenue orders visitors and conversion rate you can actually view and search your stores orders access individual order details and update order status you can view and search all of your stores customers access individual customer details you can contact customers via an in-app phone and email links so this is pretty cool and the reviews for the, the, the app are they're good they were initially poor but big commerce seems to have fixed some key bugs and uh, they have been receiving quite a positive reaction from users now this is really good so what are the pros and cons you've heard a lot of stuff about big commerce let's just talk about the pros and cons here what are the pros of big commerce the overall feature in our analysis based on our analysis the overall feature set on entry-level big commerce plans is very comprehensive many advanced features that other platforms charge a premium for are available at a much lower cost with big commerce it makes selling in multiple currencies straightforward third-party real-time shipping calculations are available on any plan this is pretty cool because it distinguishes big commerce from key competitors like squarespace and shopify which require you to be on a premium plan to avail of this functionality there are no transaction fees applied by big commerce even if you use a third-party payment gateway you get a good set of reporting tools on all planes again this is not the case with all competing products it's really easy to use and uh, it's really easy to create custom fields allowing customers to upload files during their purchase is really straightforward it comes with built-in product review functionality it comes with drag and drop page builder functionality this needs a bit of improvement however based on our analysis and its SEO features are great you can create short URLs AMP formats available on all its templates and what we've seen here is that automatic image optimization is included on all plans it's fantastic we love the abandoned cart saver tool right you get an unlimited number of staff accounts on any plan it comes with the built-in blog you can actually also uh, we love the fact that you have a built-in cookie consent that is pretty cool when it comes to complying with uh, gdpr requirements and you can try the product free for 15 days those are the pros what about the cons so by comparison to some of its competitors you have to pay quite a lot to uh, have access to abandoned cart functionality limits are placed on annual online sales and if you exceed them you'll need to upgrade to a more expensive monthly plan the free themes are in most cases too similar to each other the number of tab faces included in the free themes is very limited the page builder functionality needs quite a bit of improvement based on, on our experience it can be a bit buggy and it's confusingly implemented and unlike some competing products there is no shipping discounts available on any plan and it could be a bit easier to edit the free templates but right now it's not and the built-in blog does not facilitate RS RSS feeds and the VAT must rates could be better catered for and last but not the least they, they could also improve their customer service and make the whole process more transparent in terms of uh, if a user has a question they could reach someone ASAP and what the 24 7 customer availability means really now last but not the least I want to talk a little bit about uh, the competitors so as you have probably picked up on as a result of uh, listening to this big commerce review the platform's main competitor is uh, probably uh, Shopify which is uh, similarly priced and comes with a similar range of uh, basic features you have abandoned cart saver aside I mean you have they have so Shopify has uh, I would say a similar constellation of basic features abandoned cart saver set aside right one thing we have found is that big commerce built-in features is generally more their feature set is generally more generous but let's talk about shopify a little bit so you so shopify you, you see that this is the number one competitor um for big commerce we actually covered also we compared and contrasted shopify to big commerce to woocommerce so you might want to check our review of those three players 
Another option when it comes to building an online store is to use WordPress in conjunction with an e-commerce tool such as Equate or WooCommerce. And uh, this is something that's very cool. You might also want, wish to investigate Squarespace, which helps you actually. I mean, Squarespace, the whole thing about Squarespace is that you need to be great at coding. You need to be, you need to have a knack for coding for designing websites because the uh, the constellation of features is fantastic, but it's for another level of, uh, of players, another level of uh, designers. But that's pretty cool. And if you have, a, if you already have a website that you're happy with and you wish to add e-commerce functionality to it, you can check out Equid. And uh, this lets you create a store which you, you can then add to any site through the addition of a simple widget. Finally, other well-known solutions which facilitate the building of online stores include Wix, Jimdo, and Weebly. But it's probably fair to say that these are more prosumer products. In other words, they are like a professional and consumer products professional and consumer products <laughs> because big commerce is aimed at a more professional e-commerce focused markets all right so we're showing you right now wix jimdo and Wibbly. all right folks thank you so much for your attention in today's conversation i was reviewing i was doing an in-depth review of big commerce what i want to say here is that big commerce is one of the most feature-packed hosted online store builders that we have actually tested and the cool thing here is that the BigCommerce entry-level plan provides significantly more bang for the buck than many competitors out there, hands down. It's very strong on the SEO front with great AMP functionality and automatic image optimization features being provided out, out of the box. So you don't have to buy, you don't have to buy anything extra here. We also love the fact that um, BigCommerce's uh, multi-currency selling functionality is fantastic and possibly the strongest argument for using this product over a competing one. The main things that need improvement in BigCommerce will probably be uh, the template selection, the customer service, and also the uh, email marketing session, right? For the, for the template, se template selection, this is important because we think that the free options, the free templates provided could be more varied. They're not quite as editable as they should be, and it would be better if they Give you access to a full range of web fonts and the new page the new page builder functionality while welcome needs to be implemented better so our overall rating for big commerce after this in-depth review is 9.5 over 10. thank you so much for your attention folks really appreciate it i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous